Let's start with the first issue, which is autopsy. Is autopsy halal or haram? Now, our scholars believe that autopsy itself is haram. Why it is haram? Because we have a law or a rule actually in Islam that says human body violation. You can't violate the human body. Why? Because the human body has sanctity. Unlike, for example, a cat. A dead cat has no sanctity. So, if you cut the cat into pieces for medical or any other reason, it's not a big deal. But it is not the same with the human body. The human body has sanctity. Yes, he is dead. But being dead doesn't mean this body has no sanctity. You can kick him with, the, with your foot. You can't. You, can, you would spit on him. You can't. You have to respect. You have to treat the body of the dead with respect. The hadith from the Prophet says, Hurmatul may mu'mini mayyitan ka hurmatihi hayya. The sanctity of the believer as dead is the same as when he is alive. So as it was haram to come and cut my hand, I'm a living creature, I'm a human being, when I'm, I'm alive, it is haram to come and cut his hand when he is dead. Therefore, based on the fact that a human body violation is a big sin, this requires violating the sanctity of the human body. Many, on, in fact, all of our scholars believe that autopsy, autopsy is haram. Is haram. Why? Because in the autopsy, what you do, you basically violate the sanctity. You dissect the body, you cut the body, you take, you know, the, uh, the organs out. You treat him like a lamb, basically. As a lamb has no sanctity, you treat the dead body like a lamb. You turn him over, you flip him over. So this is haram. You are basically violating the hadith of the Rasul. You are not honoring the dignity of the dead. And we said in Islam, the dignity of the dead is as clear as his dignity when he is alive. So, therefore, our scholars believe it is 